Hello and welcome to Shona Slayer 5 Plays Diablo 3. Today the new Darkening of Tristram expansion is dropped, and I have been looking forward to this since it was announced. Apparently it's only available through January, which is kind of sad in my opinion. It should be a... This, this seems worthy of being a regular event. So unfortunately I do not have PlayStation Plus or I would play with my friend Urcanus there. Normally when we play we're playing uh, on the same screen locally. Now, the question is how do we get there? <coughs> Thank you for coming here. There are many bounties. Alright. So I'm in adventure mode right now. I have access to the, the rifts and the extra merchants and all that good stuff. Now this is supposedly where you're supposed to go to get to. Oh, look at that. There's a nice little symbol helping guide me. So for those of you who are familiar with the series, you should know what's happening here, but in case you aren't the town of Tristram was the setting of the original Diablo game. In Diablo 2, you could go back there in a side quest to rescue a man named Deckard Cain, who was sort of the main quest giver in Diablo 1. I could have played this on PC as well, but is low. I genuinely prefer the controls on the PlayStation version. I know, heresy. It has been probably a year since I've life. legitimately tried playing this game, so I am a little bit out of, out of uh, practice with the controls. So anyways, in Diablo 3, the people have built a new town called New Tristram, and it's near to the old town, which I'm in right now. And for At Diablo's anniversary this year, Blizzard has set up a new uh, quest so that Sorry, I'm... adjusting my headset volume so I don't feel like I'm yelling at the at the microphone. Uh, yeah, Blizzard has set up a new quest called the Darkening of Tristram, which is apparently a retro-style throwback to the original Diablo, including the original bosses, the original graphic style, if I remember correctly. Oh, here we go. Oh, that is neat. I hope that comes across in the 720p of the video capture here, but... Oh, okay, it's still the... Uh... Oh, you're limited to eight directions, okay. It's still Diablo 3's 3D graphics, it's just been run through a filter. This cannot be opened yet. Farnham. Farnham was one of the characters in there. Oh, and Pepin. Okay, so this is uh, set shortly after the original town was destroyed. I remember Ogden. He was the blacksmith. You'd buy weapons from him. He even walks like the original Diablo 1 sprites do. Oh, you're not limited to eight directions. He'll just only uh like he doesn't turn smoothly it won't open this is where you'd find Deckard Kane but he survived the games like he was in Diablo 2 and 3 so his corpse wouldn't be here in the original game you'd go off in this direction to find the witch's hut her name was Ardra 
This cannot be opened yet. So it's laid out like Diablo 3, because otherwise the cathedral would be right over here. So in Diablo 3, the, ca the cathedral is this direction. That makes sense. Here's Arja's hut. It won't open. Spectral cows. The wings I have on are from Overwatch. It's part of a cross-promotional DLC that you can get. Or at least that you could get. I don't know if you still can. Alright, the original Diablo was, I believe, 16 floors deep. They were randomly generated. It was kind of a revolutionary game of its time. It was a roguelike dungeon crawler with a really awesome atmosphere. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. So, if you are not familiar, Diablo is a huge loot-based game. You're always getting new stuff, you're always comparing it to your, your older equipment. My wrath is low. So my wrath is that white globe in the bottom left. That's what I use to power my special abilities. And it recharges on its own over time, but I can recharge it faster by using standard attacks. One thing that I really like about my archers, I hit triangle, and you can see in the bottom left there's a cooldown with that bar that's slowly filling up. Normally, they'll vanish before that cooldown finishes, but because I have certain equipment, I can always have archers on, which means between them and my companion, I always have at least five minions. Not ready yet. As long as I'm paying attention, anyways. They don't, they don't cost any mana to cast, so they're never a problem to keep around. Those ones are just a bonus. Not yet. So that's the first, first floor. Fairly simple. Gather my gold and move on. I really hope that this inspires somebody to take the Diablo 3 engine and do an actual full remake of Diablo 1 with it. Maybe even Diablo 2. Diablo 1 would be easier because the assets are already here in this patch. There are two exits. Interesting. Oh! Pusher! That is the first major Diablo 1 boss. He's uh, become quite famous. They resurrect him in Diablo 3. He's a character in Heroes of the Storm that you can play as. This is a new look for him. Well, modern version of the retro look, anyways. Not yet.
transmog. Nice. Challenge the Dark Passage. Okay. Oh, yes, I remember this. In uh, some Diablo maps, as I said, they're randomly generated. They uh, had some secret passageways that you could find, such as this one. It looks different than it did originally, of course. But they were just side passages you could find with extra loot and more monsters to kill for XP. I have to admit, I've only beaten the original Diablo once. Originally, I never finished it until after I'd already gotten into Diablo 2, and Diablo 2 was just such a better game. Some people still say it's better than this one, but that's a matter of opinion. I've only beaten Diablo 2 a couple times, but I've played probably hundreds of hours of Diablo 3 both with friends and by myself. It's weird, I've been playing this for about half an hour and I've already stopped noticing the low resolution filter. <laughs> Relentless Disemboweler from Beyond, that is a hell of a name. Who are you? Oh, Zar the Mask? enough wrath. I've never understood that. You're in a cavern full of demonic creatures bent on killing you and everyone in the town side, and you're not angry enough about the situation? Ascended Greaves of Razors. Whoa. Some weird artifacting. This layout actually reminds me of when I fought the Butcher in the original Diablo. He was behind this door. Hello again. Judgmental Grandfather Flail of Death. That sounds pretty judgmental to me. I know it's silly, but I just enjoy blowing up the barrels. Whoa, hello. Patience. Okay, teleporting books like that seem like a great safety hazard to me. Oh, okay, now I'm in the other one. 
almost have to deal with all these cultists before yeah. anything else happens. Not yet. Oh, Lazarus. Lazarus. He was, um, advisor to the king of Trist, the Tristram area before betraying him, if I remember correctly. And Lazarus is the one that set all of this in motion. Not ready yet. He drove King Leoric mad, who ended up becoming the skeleton king, who I'm kind of sad I didn't get to fight this way. You can only carry so much on the Crusade. And a portal. Labyrinth level 16. And that was Diablo 3, The Darkening of Tristram. I apologize for the video quality of the last segment as I messed up with the PS4 and it didn't actually record the final battles. Fortunately, I was streaming at the time, so I snagged the final sections from the recording on Twitch. In any case, I enjoyed getting to fight the classic bosses again, though I do wish they would have made some new environments instead of just using the elements from Diablo 3. In any case, I'm going to have to replay this a few times to find out how to interact with what's left of the villagers and see what else Blizzard has hidden away in this event. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a comment below and watch for new videos every week. You can also catch me live on twitch.tv slash shonasof. I'll put the link in the description below. I'm Shona Slayer 5 and I'll see you next time.